All right, so Cuddy stated that video games have a negative influence on some individuals. Although it is a very broad claim, I accept this, and I think that nobody would dispute this fact due to the large amount of scientific evidence supporting it. The problem is that this isn't a minor claim. This is a major claim, and I propose that this problem affects a significantly larger amount of people than a company gives credit to. His first secondary claim was that individuals with a dangerous psyche are influenced. His second supporting claim was that individuals with long-term exposure are influenced. His third supporting claim was that individuals in a specific environment are influenced, where he includes individuals with a violent negative household, as well as individuals with abusive parents. Um, in, a, in a company's first claim that individuals with a dangerous psyche are influenced, he overlooked the fact that these same individuals could be easily influenced by many other factors, such as bullying or other media violence in movies, um, but his evidence credits the video games. Also, he did not research enough to find out that these video games can also be a cause of the depression that, uh, and antisocial behavior. Dr. Gentile, um, an associate professor of psychology at Iowa State University, suggests that teenagers who are experiencing problems may retreat into gaming, and that gaming may in turn increase the depression and isolation. Um, the video, video games don't only affect the people with the dangerous psyches, but the, they can also cause the symptoms. So Akoni's reasoning is unacceptable. While Akoni led you to believe the video games are the problem, we learned from this study that the video games are actually the cause of this proposed problem. So the video games are affecting a lot more people than just the individuals with the dangerous psyche. Um, his second sporting claim was that individuals with long-term exposure are influenced. He fails to define long-term exposure, which is a key argument, in, which, which is a key term in this argument. While some can argue that more than one hour a day can be considered long-term exposure, others might think that four hours is a more acceptable number. He also doesn't mention if it is only the people with long-term exposure who are affected, or if, there's, or if there's even a correlation between exposure and amount of influence. According to the United States National Gamers Survey in 2009, 83% of the U.S. population plays video games, with the average time of 10.5 hours per week. Data from the same survey showed that the number one pastime for boys ages 10 to 12 is video games with 13 hours per week on average compared to 10.2 hours for TV and 9.1 for internet. Um, so if 10.5 hours is considered uh, long-term exposure, then that means that 83% of the U.S. population would be influenced. Um, that's if he would have defined it, um, but he didn't. So either way, we learned that a very large portion of the U.S. is affected, but that number is kind of unacceptable. Um, a study states that prolonged exposure causes desensitization to violent material. Um, when I overlooked his evidence, it was irrelevant and it seemed contradictory. His evidence actually stated that the, the exposure to the games would increase violent reactions. Um, and the, the violent reactions, uh, referring back to Dr. Gentile, the prolonged periods of time would also increase the depression uh, in addition to the violent reactions. In addition to his understatement of the population, I propose that the consequences are worse than he explains. His third supporting claim was that individuals in a specific environment are influenced. That, that includes individuals with a violent negative household as well as individuals with abusive parents. Um, this is another claim that I don't think anybody would dispute. I don't think he explained just how many people would fall into this category. Um, this, these people who are abused um, could also fall under the category of bad childhood experiences, which was part of his first claim. So he's kind of using circular reasoning. Individuals who live in these environments are, more, are inherently more likely to have these certain problems and the video games would only further amplify the damage. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reported in, that in 2009, approximately 3.3 million child abuse reports and allegations were made involving an estimated 6 million children. This figure shows that millions of children are affected each year by what Lacone represents as an environmental problem. 
In conclusion, I would like to remind you that video games are a potential cause of the depression and other problems, and also that a very large amount of the population is affected by video games. These are the reasons why I think the company failed to express the extent of how much video games can affect people. Thank you. Right, I didn't think it was quite as clear at the beginning the point that you were trying to make, but the summary I thought explained it a lot more effectively. That basically uh, you're suggesting that his attempt to minimize the problem is inaccurate because this, the uh, uh, the emotional problems that uh, supposedly are associated with video games are caused in part because the emotional problems occur because people are playing the video games. It's not that the video games only created in people who are emotionally uh, disturbed, but they are emotionally disturbed because they're playing the video games. I thought that was pretty straightforward. And the argument at the end suggesting that there's a large population that fits into the category. You know, he's saying, well, it's only people who've been in abused uh, situations that are likely to have been under these circumstances. And you point out, you know what? That's not an insubstantial problem. That's a major problem. We have lots of people who are, uh, you know, have been abused. There's six million kids that uh, have had some kind of abuse against them, and now they're playing video games, which means that they're a potential danger. That's not a small problem. That's a big problem. So I thought that at the end you summarize that a little bit more clearly. In the middle section it seemed like you were spinning your data a little bit. Uh, I didn't think that it uh, developed as clearly what your conflict with the advocate was. All right, thank you. Sorry we've got to rush through because we've got a lot of people to hear tonight.